G'day guys, how you doing? We've got a beautiful clear night, a full moon, so let's get photographing. So tonight's uh, telescope of choice is the uh, Skywatcher EvoStar 150 ED doublet um, refractor. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, but uh, this thing is massive um, and I love it. <laughs> I'm also using the uh, Nikon Z7 um, 45 megapixel camera. Now with the 1200 millimeter focal length and the, uh, the full frame 45 megapixel um, camera, we're filling the, the frame up of the moon a fair bit. So really utilizing all those megapixels and not having to really crop down like we would if we we're using a 500 millimeter lens. So this 1200 mil focal length is, uh, and, and the combination of the, uh, the Z7 for the moon is, uh, so far a really good pairing, I think. Now, one of the things with, um, planetary imaging is that there's a little thing called atmospheric turbulence, and that results with us not really getting the clearest image um, we possibly can. Now, how we combat that is a thing called, um, well, usually planetary images, and I don't call myself a planetary image imager because it's probably about three, maybe four, four years ago when I photographed uh, Saturn last. Um, and I don't really photograph the moon a great deal, but, um, all you planetary images out there will know exactly what I'm talking about is, uh, what we, what they generally do is use video. And with video, you can, um, shoot high frames per second, um, to capture those glimpses of clear seeing through, um, as the atmosphere sort of settles down. So those, uh, those videos can be up to 200 frames per second. Um, and what they'll do is they will, take those best frames that they capture in those glimpses of perfect thing and stack those images to then um, try and have the, the cleanest and most detailed planetary image that they can or moon. But for me, I'm just going to be um, taking a whole bunch of photographs and stacking them in uh, Photoshop. So that's my way of trying to get past atmospheric turbulence, but I'll bring the camera down a little bit lower. And hopefully I can show you guys exactly what I mean, what I mean by atmospheric turbulence. Now, I hope you guys can see this, but if we have a look at the moon here, we can see the turbulence swirling around and causing that, um, waviness and, and all that to happen in front of the, uh, the moon there. So every now and then it will settle down and we'll get a really good, um, nice sharp image of the moon, but uh, to help combat this, this is why it's nice to take lots of photos and stack or um, film it or record it with video and divide those frames per second um, uh, down to your best moments of seeing and that will yield um, the best image you can. All right, so it's not often I get to uh, sit down and um, photograph. So this is pretty cool. But the thing with a big refractor like this is that... Um, the other end seems to be really low on the ground, especially when the moon's um, so high up. So sometimes you've got to get down and low. Now, <laughs> I've got the moon centered um, in the middle of my frame here. And as you guys can see, the moon takes up a, a fair bit of that. So we're not having to zoom in or crop in on our images here. So I really like the combination of the 1200 mil focal length and a full frame sensor. I'm using an exposure of uh, 1 400th of a second. It's still quite quick, but even though I'm tracking, um, uh, that's still quite a, uh, a quick exposure. And I'm using a uh, ISO of 64. So if you're not tracking anything, um, more than likely you'll be using exposures of like 1 1600th of a second or even quicker than that to try and combat that, um, um, that movement between uh, Earth and, and the Moon. Um, so nice fast, uh, nice fast exposure here. And all I'm going to do is um, 
adjust my uh, my self timer. So I'm going to turn that on to five seconds there. Hit details, and I'm going to shoot nine shots. All right. So here we go. Our first photograph of a full moon with my Star Watcher Evo Star 150 ED doublet refractor telescope <laughs> and uh, and Z7. So, oops. Let's get started. Well, as you can see, that was a nine photograph done just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is just repeat this process um, a few more times. So, let's just make sure I'm still in my five seconds. Oops. Still shooting my nine shots. Okay. And we're ready to go again. And I'm just going to keep on, um, keep on shooting like this for a little while. And once I'm done, I'm just going to stack all of those, uh, those images together. Well, as you guys can see, that didn't take long at all. Um, probably a couple of minutes and I fired off maybe about 50 photographs that I'm going to take into Photoshop stack and uh, then take into Registacks and do some wavelet um, processing on it, bringing out a few more details and then back into Photoshop um, for, you know, some uh, black and white um, balance. Uh, set my black and white points a little bit and uh, just adding some saturation into the image um, to bring out some of those colors and that's really about it uh yeah so that that's uh that's me photographing the moon and i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you've got any questions please uh leave a comment if you're in a um a planetary <laughs> planetary imager astrophotographer and you've got some advice that you want to um hand out to anyone photographing the moon please um leave a comment as well would love to uh love to hear from you because even though um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a, an expert. I never class myself as an expert when I uh, go photogra photographing. It's just a, uh, a passion of mine. Um, but, uh, you know, I always feel like I'm always learning. So um, any bit of information that anyone wants to provide is, uh, is great because um, I may not know something and um, it may help uh, anybody else read in the comments as well. All right. Uh, yeah, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy it, please hit that subscribe. All right, guys. Well, I'll leave you um, with my photograph of the moon. So until next time, take it easy. See ya.